Hello guys, today I'll be comparing block deck with this Casper, I'll be going through their strengths and weaknesses, and what should I enter to know which cryptocurrency is for you. So Black Dog and Casper are two prominent cryptocurrencies leveraging a directed acidic graph architecture to overcome the scalability limitations of traditional linear blockchains. Casper, in Casper, it is a live, decentralized, open source, and scalable layer 1 blockchain that utilizes the Ghost Deck protocol, enabling parallel block creation. It aims for extremely high block rates, which is currently 1 block per second, with goals for 100 blocks per second, and near instant transaction confirmation while confirming proof of work, security, and decentralization. Casper was fairly launched without pre mining and boasts robust mining operations and a strong community. BlockDag, on the other hand, is a newer project, still in pre-sale as of May 2025, also incorporating DAG technology with traditional blockchain structures, creating a hybrid POW model. It emphasizes parallel transaction processing for enhanced scalability and efficiency, aiming for thousands of transactions per second. BlockDag aims, sorry, BlockDag claims EVM compatibility for seamless D app migration and offers low-code smart contract building. It has gained significant traction in its pre-sale, highlighting mobile mining accessibility and an ambitious roadmap including mainnet launch and CEX listing in 2025. Choosing between them involves evaluating a proven newer technology against promising yet unlaunched project. Caspar is ideal for users and miners seeking a live, high-speed and secure POW blockchain with verifiable performance and a strong community that has already demonstrated significant scalability improvements. BlockDag, on the other hand, is for investors and developers willing to take on higher risks with the potential of substantial early returns by participating in a project during its pre-sale phase. It appeals to those interested in a hybrid architecture with EVM compatibility and mobile mining, betting on its future, mainstream adoption, and technological promises. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.